Hey guys, so let's go ahead and show you how we're going to use this stuff here. This is Plasti Gauge. This stuff has a range on it. One thousandths to three thousandths of an inch. This is going to check our clearance between our bearing and the journal that it rides on. Here's the bearing right here. You can see the bearing cap is inside the bearing cap and the journal that it rides on. So this is going to check that out. So we are going to go ahead and open the plasti gauge. Once we get the plasti gauge open, then we will uh, place a strip right here. We will put the cap assembly back on. We'll torque it down to the specs. Then we will take it back off and we'll measure the plastic gauge. So let me do that and then we'll be right back. So you can see our small strip of plastic gauge that we have sitting there on top. Now I'm going to place the bearing cap back on. So we'll place our bearing cap back on. Do not tap that bearing cap on because you will smash the plastic gauge and get an inaccurate reading. So now we're going to go ahead and put our two cap nuts back on. And then we have to torque those down for this motor, which is a 3.4 liter, which General Motors like to use in a lot of their cars and trucks back in the early 2000s before the 3600. Um, we're going to go ahead and tighten that down to 18 pound feet of torque. Then we got to do an additional 100 degrees of tightening. Then we will pull these loose again and we'll check it. Let me get that tightened down and then I'll pull it back off and we'll show you the measurement. So now we got the bearing cap off. You guys can see it smashed down. Now it's just to compare it to here. See what our clearance is. Let's get a good look at what our bearing clearance is. you can see right there that's 0. 0.00015 which is right in the middle which means these bearings still have a good amount of life left on them now we'll simply clear this off we'll clean that off just wipe it off there get our rag and clean that off Now we can take our bearing cap, we'll clean this off the bearing cap. You can see it right there. We're going to clean that off. Now see this tang on the bearing? You want to make sure that that tab right here on the bearing cap is lined up with the other tab on the, on the bearing in there. So we'll go ahead and flop that back down on there. I'll go ahead and tighten that back down. That's how you check. That's how you guys check bearings. Pretty simple. You can do the same thing with the main bearing. Plasti gauge costs a couple dollars at uh, your local parts store. They have it in different sizes. They have red, they have blue, and they have green. And they're for different clearances. And that's how you can check your valve clearances. As far as, not your valve clearances, excuse me. That's how you can check your clearances on your bearings. Um... To determine if you need to replace your main bearings or rod bearings, that's a good way of checking them and an easy way. All right. Thank you guys for checking back. We'll have another segment coming up here pretty soon. Thanks again. Yes, oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on.